use. It takes some experience. You have to remember that the craft arm has so many uh, more joints. Oh, like yes. It you is. zoom on this guy, Nathan? It's, it's fancy. Yeah, it's it is. Really it is. <laughs> keep up with it. Fancy is a good term. It's a feather boa. Salp. <laughs> Siphonophore. Siphonophore. Oh, it's Siphonophore. Siphonophore to eight. Yeah. Boom. We renamed ourselves the Siphonophore to eight watch. So this watch is named, nicknamed the Siphona 4 to 8. <laughs> Courtesy of Will, thank you. <laughs> so it's appropriate that we take a closer look. It really does look like a feather boa. Wow. What, where is the animal, where is the, so if this is a colony, which piece makes a member? I, I was going to ask that as well. These thank guys, you. usually they're floating by so fast, yeah. you can barely get a good look at them. Or is he chewing on that, uh, I think it's just caught. Yeah, it may be. It's a little difficult to tell who's chewing on who. <laughs> uh, the crinoids have some pretty intense calcified armor, so I don't think they're getting the, the short end of the stick. And they are related to jellyfish. Um, the most known siphonophore would be the Portuguese man of war. It's... It kind of challenges what you think is an individual here. Yeah, it's a they, not an it, right? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they with a very singular purpose, with individual goals for each of the zoids types. You see, th this goes back to my Siphonophore theory. <laughs> here we go. Because if if we were talking about all the people on another ship that went past us, we'd say they. Nautilus is just a big siphonophore. 